Welcome to a new episode of Pedalboard Tips. Today, I hope you're good in maths because it's going to get pretty technical uh, with the numbers. But I'm going to show you what is the golden ratio and how we can apply it to delay pedals. I was really interested when I saw on the Strymon dig on the delay subdivisions here what is known as the golden ratio. So I wanted to learn more about it and how we can apply it to our other delay panels. So the simplest way to explain what is golden ratio, it's the definition of beauty in proportions. It's used in architecture and paintings to get the most perfect proportions. But we can use it in music in many different ways too. We could use it on the structure of our song to know where is the optimal place to put our climax in our song. But we can also use it with time. So we can set up the time of both our delays to collide between each other and use the golden ratio to get the most perfect collision uh, place for our delays to happen. The actual formula of golden ratio is A plus B divided by A is equal to A divided by B. And the actual value of it is 1.618. It has a million other decimals, but we are going to stick to 1.618. So basically the simplest way to calculate the time for both our delays is to take the actual value of 1.618 times a thousand. So our delay one will be 1,618 milliseconds and our second delay will be a thousand milliseconds. So if we take the same formula, a plus B divided by A equals A divided by B, it's going to be equal for both answers. It's going to be 1.618. That could be the only thing that we need to calculate if we had two delay pedals that show the milliseconds on screen. I think if you have a Strymon timeline or a Nova delay or some other delay pedals with screens that show the milliseconds, you could just put the amount of milliseconds you need on both pedals and you would have your golden ratio. The problem is that most delay pedals do not show the milliseconds, so we have to transform our milliseconds in the language of tempo, which is BPM which stands for beats per minute. We can all agree that 60 BPM equals 60 seconds because one BPM equals one minute and there are 60 seconds in a minute. So 60 BPM equals 60 seconds and we get equal distance between each seconds. Thus, if a thousand milliseconds equals one second, it's also equal to the time that we need to delay too. So basically we would have to take a metronome at 60 BPM and tap the 60 BPM on our tap tempo on our delay and we would get the milliseconds needed for our second delay. To set up our delay one, it's a little bit more complicated because we don't have a round number like a thousand milliseconds. So we have to use this formula. 60,000 milliseconds divided by BPM equals one beat in millisecond. Why 60,000? Because there are 60,000 milliseconds in a minute. So we have to use this formula to transform our milliseconds into BPM. But since the BPM is the number that we need to find, our new formula is 60,000 divided by X equals 1000 is 618 milliseconds and we can swap the X and our milliseconds and it's going to do the same. So 60,000 divided by 1618 milliseconds equals 37.08 BPM. So now we know that delay one should be 37.08 BPM and delay two should be 60 BPM. But the problem is that those BPMs are very, very slow right now. There's a big chance that if you try to use your tap tempo for 37.08 BPMs, you are going to screw that up and it's going to be another number. So what we can do is to multiply those numbers to have faster tempo. We can do times two, times 2.5, times three. So uh, in this case, times two equals 75.6, 
92.7, uh, 112.24, and for delay 2, it's 120, 150, 180. So now we have some times that are much faster and much more usable. Enough numbers for now. Now what you need is a metronome playing in the background so you can have your BPM reference when you are going to use those times on your tap tempos. I have to say that it's pretty impossible to pull that off if you don't have tap tempos on your delay pedals. If you're just turning a knob, you will have no clue what is the true BPM or true milliseconds of your delay. So tap tempos are a must. Now I am here with both of my delay pedals, the Strymon El Capistan and the Diamond Mary Lane Jr., which both have tap tempos. I have my metronome with me and I'm going to tap as close as possible the tempos that I need to make the golden ratio. I'm going to try the faster tempos at first because uh, I'm sure it will be easier and we will try the slower tempos afterwards. So delay one is 111 BPM. Delay to 180. Let's see what it does. Wow, it was really awesome. It was the best collision ever to make swells that last and that are full because the, each delay was never at the same time of the other and they collided with each other. So I think it was very, very cool. I might use it a lot when I set up my delays uh, in the future. Let's try with slower tempos. Delay one has to be 93. Delay 2 has to be 150. I think it was as awesome, uh, whatever the tempo is, I think as long as you're close to the golden ratio, it's going to give you some full bodied swells and a collision with between your delays. Uh, you could try many other tempos if you want and use the calculation and uh, formula that I showed you and uh, it's giving awesome awesome result that being said if you don't want to be calculating and having a metronome with you and tap tempoing everything you could just buy a strymon dig it's two delays in one and the golden ratio is already in there but it's really nice if you want to apply it with what you already had so if you really like that video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget that i have a mini course on ambient guitar chords it's very valuable i love that course i love seeing new faces on the platform so go subscribe to the uh, mini course and until next time au revoir